Subtopic 4.5.4, electrolysis of aqueous solution. So the aqueous means that the solution containing water. So now means that we need to consider water during the electrolysis process. Okay, so we know that in water contains H plus ions, which is attracted to cathode, meanwhile OH minus ion is attracted to anode. So these two reactions we can get from the standard reduction potential table owing to the water reaction. Okay, so from this figure we can say that the oxygen Okay, so oxygen is produced at the anode and the hydrogen gas is produced in the, at the cathode. Okay, so this is the half equations at the anode and we can see here the production of the oxygen gas. And for the cathode, from this half equation, we can see the production of the hydrogen gas at the cathode. Aqueous solution, water-soluble salts contains cations and ions from salt and also water molecules. So, at the anode, water and, and ions are competing with each other to be oxidized. While at the cathode, water and cations competing with each other to be reduced. Hence, for aqueous solution, the products at electrodes depend on which species are selected to be discharged, either to be oxidized or reduced. Okay, so we need to consider water in the reduction and the oxidation. Okay, so for the reduction at the cathode, this is the equation. And at the anode, which is the oxidation, this is the equation. The electrolysis of potassium sulfate, sulfate solution using platinum electrodes. Okay, so platinum electrode here is an inert electrode. Okay, so first of all, we need to identify all species present in the solution. Because here is the aqueous solution. The species present in the solution must be water molecules, the K plus and also SO4 to minus. Okay, so for the potassium sulfate. Okay, so we know that the anode, okay, so the anion and water molecule attracted to undergo oxidation. And for the cathode, the cations, the K plus ion here and water molecule attracted to undergo reduction process. Okay, so we list down the equation from the standard reduction table owing to the SO42 minus ion and also the water molecules at the um, oxidation side. Okay, so we know that for the oxidation process, the species with less positive inert reduction we reduce. So, from here, we can see that water molecule is selected to be oxidized. So, for the half equations, so we need to um, reverse the reduction, standard reduction potential equation here for the oxidation side. Okay, so we look at here the formations of the oxygen gas at the anode. Okay, so for the cathode, we list down the potential equations will be occur. Okay, so we have the K plus and also water molecules. So for the cations, sorry, for the uh, reduction process, species with more positive inert reduction will discharge. So from here, we can see that water molecule is selected to be reduced. So, write down the half, e half equations in the form of the reduction. So, we can see that the hydrogen gas will produce as a product at cathode. 
electrolysis of diluted aqueous sodium chloride solution using platinum electrodes. Okay. So first, we identify the species that present in aqueous solution. So we have the water molecule Na plus and Cl minus from the sodium chloride solution here. And then we decide that the anions Cl minus and H2O molecule attracted at the anode to undergo oxidation. So this is the equations from the standard reduction potential and we choose the species with less positive E0 reduction will be discharged. And from here, we decide that water molecule is selected to be oxidized. So write down the half equation for the oxidation and we can see that the oxygen gas will produce at the anode. Okay, so for the cathode, which is the reduction process, will be occurred. The cation, Na+, and water molecule attracted. So the equations from the standard reduction potential, so we choose the species with more positive E0 reduction will be discharged. And from this value, we can see that the water molecule is selected to be reduced. Write down the half equation for the reduction process and we can see the product at the cathode is the hydrogen gas. Okay, so note here, the product of electrolysis at the anode is always oxygen gas, except if the electrolytes contain high concentrated ions of Cl minus, Br minus, and I minus ions. Okay, now look at for the electrolysis of concentrated aqueous sodium chloride solution using platinum electrode. Okay, so first, write down the species that present in the aqueous solution, which is we have water molecule. Na plus and Cl minus from the sodium chloride solution. Okay, so look at here. When the concentrated aqueous solution, the concentrations of Cl minus and Na plus is higher than water. Okay, so first we settle for the anode or oxidation site first. The Cl minus ion and water molecule attracted. So we list down the equations from the standard reduction potential and beware with this concentrated word here. So means that as the concentrations of the Cl minus very high, so means that the Cl minus ion will be selected to be oxidized. Okay, so half equations for the oxidations of the chlorine should be stated here. And we can see here the product at the anode is the chlorine gas. Okay, and look at for the cation or reduction site. The, cat, the Na plus ion and water molecule attracted. So this is the standard reduction potential for both Na plus and water and the species which more positive E0 reduction is discharged at the cathode. So means that from here, water molecule is selected to be reduced. So write down the half equations for the water and we can see the production of the hydrogen gas at the cathode okay and look at here the note here metal group one and group two easily oxidized not reduced look at this example we have an aqueous solution of 0 0.5 molar zinc sulfate and 0 0.5 molar nickel sulfate undergoes electrolysis based on reduction potential what products are expected to be observed at electrode? Okay, so first of all, we need to identify 
all possible species in the solution at the anode side and at the cathode side. Okay, so from here, the zinc sulfate, we can say that the zinc 2 plus will undergo reduction and SO4 to minus will undergo oxidation. And for nickel sulfate, Ni2 plus will undergo reduction and SO4 to minus will undergo oxidation. So that we focus on the anode or oxidation side first. The SO4 to minus ion and water molecule attracted. Okay, so why water present here? Because look at here, the aqueous solution. Aqueous means contain water. Okay, so we find the um, half equations for these two from the standard reduction potential table together with the E0 reduction value. And as we know at the E0, the species with less positive E0 reduction will be discharged so that we decide that water molecule is selected to be oxidized. So write down the half equation for the oxidations of water and from here we can see the product at anode is the oxygen gas. Okay, so for the cation or reduction side, the nickel 2 plus ion, zinc 2 plus ion and water molecule attracted and competes to be reduced at the cathode. Okay, so because here we have zinc, we have nickel, we have aqueous means that water. So write down the standard reduction potential for each equations. Okay, so we know that the species with more positive E0 reduction is discharged. So from here, the nickel 2 plus ion is selected to be reduced. So write down the half equation owing to the reduction of nickel. So we can see here the product at cathode is nickel solid. Later you can try checkpoint 9 and checkpoint 10. Subtopic 4.5.5 Application of Electrolysis Extraction of Aluminium from Bauxite. Okay. So from this diagram, we can see the process of the extraction of aluminium from bauxite. Okay, so when the battery is turned on and the electricity flows, the aluminium forms at the negative cathode. Okay, so here at the negative cathode and sinks to the bottom of the tank where it steps off as a pure liquid metal. Okay, so means that the process is the reduction. So this is what happened at the cathode. So the aluminium ions from molten solutions are reduced. Okay, and the cryolite solid is added to lower the melting point of the aluminium oxide. Okay, and the oxygen form at the positive Anodes. This is the positive anodes. The oxygen reacts with the carbon of the graphite forming carbon dioxide. And the positive anodes therefore burns away and it must be replaced regularly. So this is what happened at the anode which is the oxygen ions are oxidized and the oxygen reacts with carbon to make carbon dioxide. Economic considerations of aluminium extraction, electrolysis process is the more cost effective than carbon reduction in extracting aluminium from bauxite, but still extracting aluminium is expensive because it uses huge amount of electricity and energy and material costs in constantly replacing the anodes.